Hi, grade eight. We're with Miss Lay in the art room. Hi, guys. <laughs> and look at what she has organized for you. We have a number system here of all the colors that are available to you. And you can look at the picture for the, to get the numbers. And then over here, we have all the colors of fabric that you could use for your background. It's the light maybe is a little bit off, but we've got white, kind of off-white. I know you'll like that color. Um, and then we've got a couple of beige or tans. So we've got light and a little bit darker tan. And then we have a light gray, a blue gray, and maybe a charcoal gray. Over here is my plan. I thought for my demo here, does anyone recognize this? It's called COVID-19. It's a virus. I thought I would embroider it and see how it goes. So I printed off a picture from the internet that I'll trace and I decided what is my color scheme. So I looked at this, I see there's yellow, red, blue, and pink. So I chose those and then I also um, decided to get a brown in case, like that would fit with the color scheme in case I wanted to outline anything. In planning that, I wrote down the colors that I needed and you should have maybe five maximum, maybe six maximum colors. Uh, write down the colors you need, choose which numbers, and then we can put this kit together for you. You'll then get a piece of fabric that's about 22 yeah about that it will fit in your embroidery hoop so you'll use that and you'll also get uh, some interfacing to put on the back to make the fabric stronger you're gonna iron that on after you trace okay I have the image I'm going to trace and maybe you just keep it on your computer screen you can try that or you can try and print it or draw it I decided to use maybe the most challenging for tracing, because it's darker, the darker gray as my fabric. And I also have a piece of interfacing, which is shiny on one side and flat on the other. I'm going to set this aside for now. I have a piece of tape and I have a few drawing utensils, a pencil, a black pen, and a blue pen to see if this will work for tracing. So I decided to do this virus. What do I call it, a cell? Science people help me out. And I can kind of center it on here, tape it on the paper, and then I want to trace this. I'm going to use the window as my tracing board and we'll just see how this works. So it will be a little challenging with this darker fabric, but you can see through. Do you see that? It's hard, but you can see with the sun the design below. Do you see that? Now I'm going to give it a try and my tape is holding in place. So I'm just going to try and you have to be patient, work slow. And then see how does the pencil work on there? I can see it pretty well. You could also try the pens or the pencils. Um, and see how that goes. Okay, good. Okay, I'm working, sorry, the light's not the greatest. I'm working on tracing my image there. I got the main parts done, uh, but I just wanna make this video for you, so I'm gonna go back and finish drawing it afterwards. So it's hard to trace. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can freehand it as you want. I ended up tracing a circle, and then I'm gonna work out from there. But you can see I have the basics done. Now, I want to, to make my fabric stronger for all of the stitching and stabbing that I'm doing, I want to iron it onto this interface. And you can see the interface is just an extra piece of fabric that's essentially being glued onto the back. You can see the shiny part on there, that's the glue. Now we're gonna melt it. And I think you can do this at home, you can get an adult to help you, or I think you can handle it if you are being safe and if you have an iron. If you don't have an iron, contact me and I'll give you other tips, um, or you don't have to use it, but it will make your fabric stronger. So I'm laying the interface on there. I actually think I should do it the other way so I don't blur my image, mm -hmm. do you think? Okay. Lay and I are just figuring this out here. So it's on the back side, 
the shiny part is going to attach to the other fabric. Yep, there it is. And we'll iron it on. We have the iron on a high setting, a medium to high setting, no steam, no water. Okay, and we'll just do moving it around. Keep the iron moving so it doesn't burn. You can check every once in a while if, if it's sticking. The glue is melting out. Hmm? Yeah, the glue is melting out. Oh good, the glue is melting. Yay. Okay. And then you can check to the, the sides, just kind of see if you can pick up a side of it and how is it sticking or not. It is sticking on there, you'll have to let it dry. So just maybe about a minute at a medium to high heat, attaching it on there. Okay, now you're ready to put this in your hoop and start your stitching.